All right, welcome to Six Scale, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna put the note link in the notes in the in chat. Please add yourself in as, attend as an attendee, please. All right. Okay, uh, let's get started with um, first thing is the performance job. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, we're still getting some failures. Let me just, we're gonna look at both of these. Um, okay. So for, uh, for, those, for those of you who don't know, um, this performance job is uh, something we run periodically. Uh, it'll go through, create 100 VMIs, and we'll um, we'll grab a bunch of metrics. We we have a um, an audit tool that is like a um, a little script that goes through and grabs metrics, and then we have a bunch of thresholds that we compare. And kind of the way it works is um, at this end, end, the end of the test, it's um, uh, here's the here's a summary, and uh, so the way the way to read this is like uh, so I said like there's a hundred VMIs that we create, but the uh, the way like you'll see this isn't exactly hundred, and um, this is actually expected. We we've done we've done like extensive amount of work to try and figure this out because uh, it's actually it's really tricky to um, uh, to get an exact value because the way that Prometheus does its measurements, a time series database, the way we need to measure is we actually need to measure uh, rates of change and Prometheus does this by doing some estimations over periods of time. So the count, the the crate pods count is is an estimation of of what we would see over some certain amount of time. So let's say our test ran for three, four minutes, or whatever. The Prometheus does some sort of extrapolation to to get us a value. So it'll never be exact, but it should be close, roughly to the uh, the amount of uh, the exact amount that um, that we see, so we get 105. And create is like the create request that we make to Kubernetes. We're actually grabbing those metrics and we're and we're comparing. Um, uh, we're using this like kind of as our as our like anchor point to say like, okay, this is you know this is what we expected in the test. And so what we actually do is we take this metric and we do we use it to compare against some of the other ones. So like in other words, when we create 100 VMIs, here's how many. API calls that we expect of each type. So we expect, you know, a certain amount of, of these. And the ones that we have very confident uh, are like stable are the ones we created thresholds. And those are these are right here. You can see that um, the way uh, the way to read this is we have um, we take a relationship between the number of update requests and we relate it to the number of create pod counts. And we have like a certain um, uh, threshold, and we I think it's ten to one that we allow. And if it's as long as it's within that threshold, we're we're happy. We've we we haven't regressed in any way in the number of of calls, number of update calls. And same with patch. Um, we have uh, I think those are the main two that we have thresholds to. So I mean, to, for this uh, this all looks good. This job obviously passed. You can see the running phase. We actually caught them. We had hundred in running phase. So that gives you this is an exact metric because it's just a count um, at, at a specific point in time. Um, and then we have ourselves the, um, the the amount of time it took for each of the, uh, the VMIs to go through their phases. So from create to running, we saw like 50% uh, we saw um, within our threshold, we say it's 45 seconds with most of them within 25. When the most of them took 25 seconds, the P95, 38 seconds we expect to be less than 60 and we don't have one for p99 because that can vary we've seen as high as like 
60, 70, and sometimes as low as we see here as 39. So we don't even count it. It's just, it's kind of an outlier statistically, but it's something that's interesting to see. So this test looked good in the past and, uh, um, and this runs periodically based on uh, off of the master branch. And um, this is just a, a tool that we, like I said, a tool that we developed and you can actually run it locally after any tests that you do in your cluster. Okay, we're gonna look at one that failed. Just to just see if we can create an issue on this. I'm not sure why. We've, we've been seeing this a little bit more recently, some failures. See the test will open. Train the one I can't even get to that one. Can we get to the details? Let's see. All right, it's slow today. Okay. All right, we might not be able to get to it just yet. I might just let it load in the background. Maybe I'll get an answer in a few minutes. Um, okay, so this is one of our tests. Let me go to a few of the other ones. Um, we have, uh, so it's the periodic. We have um, another periodic. We actually have two more periodic, periodics. This is the, density test. This one we're actually working on fixing right now. So this is expected that we're seeing some failures. I think it's the same failure. I think we had some merge, a change merge recently that got this a little bit closer. Let's see if it's the same. Actually, while I do that, I'm going to open up the last one, which is um, the pre-submit job. This is an optional job. It's the same thing and the periodic. It's just we, we allow people who are doing um, pull requests to optionally run the performance tests. So, I don't know. Oh, these are my cute uh, presets. I guess. Okay, so a little bit more successes, a few failures. I don't want to these up. Okay, this looks like it was a just a setting up a job error. Okay, that's that's fine. We're gonna some of this is still being worked on, so I like I said, I expect this one to fail. All right, we'll go to the the pre-submit in case there was um, something we need to pay attention to. Okay, looks like a lot of these failed. All the handlers. Okay, the test actually didn't run. Something is just failing. Maybe it's teardown that's failing or something. 102 crates. And then um, let's see your thresholds. So actually, you can see here that there's sometimes we get. Um, there's a lot of there's sometimes, sometimes we get a lot of other metrics that we scoop up um, that happen during this time. Since we uh, we grab quite a bit of of uh, API requests, we sometimes there are other ones like list cuberts, for example. So that's why we don't have thresholds for some of these. They're inconsistent. They don't they show up sometimes. Sometimes they don't. Um, so we we ignore them. But they're still important to keep an eye on though when we when they do pop up because we would never want this value, like if we're doing 100 VMs, we would never want to have any correlation between this value and and the create pod account, or we're going to have we're 
going to be in trouble because this is expensive. So it's good these are all low, it's all expected. Okay, patch VMs, that looks good. Yeah. All of them are worth threshold and yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway. So I think this one has similar uh, characteristics in failures uh, as the other one. Uh, the, the similarity that I observed is line 2029. Um, one is, uh, so one VM is not running. And then uh, at the end of the test, it says uh, the phase of one VM is not running. I, I'm not sure if uh, that's a red heading, uh, but I that's the similarity I have noticed. Okay. Yeah, I just, I just saw this, that um, one is in scheduling. That's interesting. Where was the error you said? It was like, is it further up? If you scroll all the way down. That's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you see line two, three, four, nine. The phase is not running. Ah, uh, okay. And it, it's, it's similar on the other failure as well. The one I pasted um, on the chat. Okay. Yeah, so in there, the line number is 2358. Okay, I see. Okay, that's... I wonder if this is the, uh, this might be, we might need to increase the memory. Let me see if the, um, if we can get the artifacts here and tell us why. Okay, good, this one has it. Maybe the last one. See the name of it. Let's see. Um, will it help to search by the name? Yeah, I'm looking for the name. Um, there we go. I you know what it is? Yeah, yeah. I heard it. That's what it looks like. Okay, here it is. Says running. Wait, that's not right. Wait. Ah, here it is. Okay, so insufficient memory. Okay, that's what I thought. It was okay. The memory is not high enough on these nodes. All right, all right. We this was this is a this is an issue we've seen in the past. We just raised it like a few weeks ago, and I, we need to raise it again. Looks like looks like it's just a little bit too tight. Okay. So just so I understand, um, we need to increase the um, the memory for provisioned clusters that are. Um, that are yeah. Okay. Yeah. The the we there's a certain amount of memory that gets allocated for the performance job, and um, we we need to increase it a little bit. I think I, I forget what it is. It's something in the thirty gigs or something. We just need to raise it a few gigs, and I think that'll take care of it. Yeah. Sounds good. Yep. All right, good. That'll that should fix that one, and probably that's what's going on. Yeah, we well, that's what we said. We saw it in both cases, so that's 
likely what's going on in both cases. Okay, good. All right, that'll that should fix that. And then we have the other work in progress for um, the dedicated cluster um, performance job. Okay. Um, all right, I don't think we have Marcelo here today. So Mar this is Marcelo's fix that he's working on to um, on the load generator. This is what will fix the, um, the dedicated cluster performance job. Um, so this job, so I, I didn't talk a ton about it. Um, it's it's over. Where is it? It's in the periodics. It's uh, it's this one, the uh, these two actually. Um, so these are these are run on a, on a dedicated cluster, um, which is better for us to do scale testing on. Um, and right now, the target for this work is to uh, run what we call burst tests. And uh, burst tests we, we're defining as create a bunch of VMs, you know, at whatever variable rate, and um, and then we know wait till they're running, and then and then delete them. Um, and so there's a lot of variation to that. Like we could create them at a different rate. We could create them weight. Um, there's a lot of things that we can do. That's one of the two types of tests that we're, we're gonna do. We're just starting with first. The second type is steady state, which is something we haven't integrated with. And that's create a certain amount and then do a certain amount of deletes and then refill the amount back to the, um, the, the expected number of VMIs. So like if we expect 100, create 100, we delete 10, and then the, the job should automatically recreate 10 more. And that one has a lot of variation because we can change the number of how fast we delete, how fast we recreate. Um, and it's sort of to test like how the different, you know, how pressure affects the, the cluster based on, you know, the different rates. and. Um, and, and how fast you recreate and so on. So that's something we're doing in the future. But so first is this, this, um, this MR, uh, we'll just need to review and get this in and it should fix the burst test. Okay, um, lastly, so KubeCon and NA submissions, the call for proposals ends, I think it's tomorrow. Um, Marcelo and I are gonna submit a talk. This is what it, this is where we're tracking it. Actually, this needs to be updated, but uh, we have, um, this is where uh, we're actually collaborating in, in this Google doc, but um, this is what we're looking online to, to submit. Actually, let me, this is a little update. Let me just go to this one. So we wanted to talk about actually how we're gonna, um, how we've created the performance infrastructure for Qvert and, um, Cater to talk to like how other projects can do it. So go through some of the steps that we did and talk about some of the things um, like the metrics, which I think are really important for any anyone who wants to do this and performance. And it's really critically understand how you measure. So we're going to talk about a number of those things and as well as other APIs that we're working on to improve performance and scale. Okay, all right. I don't have any more. Um, Topics. Uh, I don't know, Olay. Do you? I think, yeah, Olay, you're on here. Olay, do you have anything else you want to talk about? Uh, no, uh, I was just listening in. Thank you. Cool. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. We'll end early today then. All right. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. You too. Bye.